Hi, here we go. Fourth time taping this. Um, either I just quit or I just feel like I stumble on my words and really don't know what to say. Um, today is October 19th, 2022 at 12.51 a.m. I'm sitting here with the laptop in my lap and um, just explain why I've been absent the last six, seven months. Um, if you just want to get right to the stitching, feel free to just fast forward through this. Starting in October, um, my aunt passed, my mom, the last of my mom's siblings passed away out of 10 kids. And um, that was tough because you see an era, you know, that is no longer there and you become the parent, the grandparent, you know, replacing them. And plus I had so many fond memories with her and still close to my first cousins. In November, my best friend of 40 plus years passed away unexpectedly in her sleep. Um, still trying to process it because I still feel like she's here even though she's gone. Um, and that was tough. In December, one of my first cousins passed away um, from my mom's side, but not from the aunt, not any children from the aunt. In January, one of my longtime co-workers passed away unexpectedly. In February, uh, one of our nurses, her 16-year-old daughter, passed away. Um, she went to the clinic that day, had influenza A. And they also found out she was type 1 diabetic. Flew her across the state to a children's hospital. They incubated her. Um, she contracted COVID there from a staff member. And shortly after that, she contracted MRSA from the tubing. And her lungs just couldn't stand anymore and so she passed away and that was so hard that was really hard um and then in march um one of our nurses um she was just working a part-time shift and um she was one of our traveling nurses and she stayed till about 10 after 4. She worked with me that night. On her way home, she took uh, the less traveled roads anyway. Ended up going through a stop sign and was T-boned by a semi. Um, she left two little kids, age 2 and 4. Um, you know, and... Every time, you know, your loved one leaves the house, you know, that's all you can think about. And her grandparents were caring for her children that night. And, you know, and I just remember the last thing I said to her was, be safe. You know, 24 years old. So, you know, like I said, even if it's one death or several death, death changes you. I've had some health issues myself. Um, you know, as you get older, there's always something. And um, one day I was rubbing my head back here and I thought, there's two like indentations, almost like a soft spot on a baby. So I went to my doctor and he said, well, without doing a CAT scan, it's just speculation. So I had the CAT scan and uh, when I went to go see him for the results, he said it's the bone thinning in the skull and um, it's rare, but it happens to women 60 and older. 
And so I'm going for another CAT scan um, in five months to see if there's any progression. So uh, my son wanted to know if I have to wear those helmets. <laughs> I said, would you be embarrassed to be with me if I had to wear one? And he said, no, we'll just get you one in every color. Put stickers on them, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, so that's just kind of the brief synopsis of what's been going on. And to be honest, I just really haven't felt like stitching. You know, I stitch a little bit here and there, plus work. You know, every other week I work six days in a row. And by the time I get one fifteen and one half, and by the time I get my stitching out, it's time to put it away. So um, lately I've been taking um, my crocheting with me. And I'll show you a little bit of that. So let's get started. I sat and made a list of how many whips that I have right now, and we're looking at 33, which, you know, if they were small, you know, itty bitty ones, you know, that would be doable. No, they're humongous. They all fit on a half, that half yard of fabric. So let's see what we have here. I have this one. I put it on the back burner because um, I've been waiting for my granddaughter to have a child. She's been married three years. They just got two dogs. And I love the colors in these. And this is my big, oops, sorry. This is my big toe. Um, is it upside down too? Yep. And it says, for this child I prayed. And I'm just loving the colors. Well, she has a boy. We'll go to her anyway. So I don't know what I'm saving it for. Unless I put my own kids' names in there. But there's really only room for two spots. And this has Dinky Dyes. Brambleberry, that's, let me take this out of the package here. This is that darker green. My lighting is just horrendous tonight. This looks like um, I'm filming uh, a B movie or something, you know, all grainy and such. And then the pink, it's kind of a fuchsia pink. No, this one says Brambleberry. What the heck is this then? Oh, that's just the tag. Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing with the Brambleberry tag in this. Um, this was Ocean Pines. The green and this it's not showing it it's darker and more fuchsia it's a beautiful color absolutely love it so that's one unless somebody tells me they're having a baby that's going to be entitled then I don't know why I just don't get this thing done. It's not that hard. And stitching letters goes by pretty fast. Um, this is another My Big Toe. Uh, the Apostles' Creed. Can you even see it? It looks so grainy. Next time I'll try to do one during the daytime. But, here, let me fold it this way. I wish it The material and 
the thread are darker than what it shows. But it's so pretty. And there's this is sort of a gold and brown and green and then highlighting certain work highlighting certain good gracious highlighting certain words in red that one is almighty yeah i really love my big toe they have a lot of beautiful patterns the majority of them are pretty big And I promise after I go through these whips, um, I'll have better light. This one is Lizzie Kate. Can you even see that? ABC's of Faith. And I think this is done on natural. I've had this a while too. Hmm, left a needle in it. I thought that would be nice for a child's room too. Well, this is going faster than I thought. This one has been in timeout, uh, Scarlet Ribbon, um, by Long Dog, and I don't have the pattern in here. Um, this is Vintage Country Mocha with... Classic Color Works Bell Swap. No, let's see. Mare Blue. That's the color of it. And it's really pretty. And I have a mistake somewhere in here. And I just haven't felt like dealing with it. Then on top of all my other projects... I have, um, oh, did the lighting just change? Um, I have a 50th wedding anniversary from a dear, or one of the girls I graduated high school with. And um, a wedding next year, I wanted to make something. Hmm, where do you think I'm going to get the time to do that? And I have no idea what I'm going to do, so I'm open to suggestions. This is no pattern in here either. More needles. This is with a called for colors. Um, let's see, the red is current. But this is done on, I think, 28 count vintage country mocha. Uh, this is Christmas Quaker 2. I'm thinking I should be, the next holiday is 4th of July, so I should be working on that. But part of me just wants to work on Christmas stuff. Okay, what's this one? Oh, this is my big toe. Um, I was going to do this for the anniversary one. And it's um, The Lord is My Shepherd. I just love the color. Does it go? No, it goes this way. Bare hair. Um, this one has 
this. Throw a pattern in here too. Maybe, maybe not. I think I just printed it off. And I think this is the original colors. This is baby spinach. And then the lavender is sugar plum. Sort of a rose. Take this out of the bag. Sort of a rose purple or a rose lavender. That lighting horrendous. Oh. Everybody at work, all the nurses and everyone that works there, purple's their favorite color. You know, and I have never was a purple fan, but I'm around it so much, I think I'm starting, it's starting to rub off on me. Quick throw this. Where's the bag? Oh, here. If I don't keep things together, especially with these many projects, it's going to be a nightmare. Okay, and then this is Santa Village. Java Girl Stitches, yeah, Santa's Village. Did hers on 14 count Ada Lamb's wool. And I haven't used Ada for years. I thought, oh, this will be easy on the eyes. But I thought, geez, it looks awfully big. Well, I've been trying to stitch on 16 count and I'm so OCD about it because my stitches don't look like they're it looks like it's packed jam packed too tight I don't know this one I would like to get done here shortly. Put it in my entryway. Is Sunflower in? Hey, that light is messing with me. And this is on 25 count. Because I just wanted it a little bigger. I think ivory, I want to say. So, this is just going around the border. You see that flicker of light? So I promise after today my videos will be shorter. I noticed I'm 20 minutes into them. But if I like somebody, I could just sit and watch them for hours and hours. I'm taking notes, writing down patterns. I gotta quit doing that. Okay. Now for the bags. What did I have? This one is pandemic it's on ivory with shades of brown this is 
Grapevine by Weeks Dye Works. I just don't know. Then I think, well, maybe it should be darker, but I don't know. So I haven't really done anything with it. This one is um, the Engraver's Chart by Liz Matthews. This is going to be humongous. Um, she did hers on 40 count. This is, I believe, 28 or 32. It's going to be huge. As you can see. But I really like it. Sometimes I don't like things so little because even like these little letters, if I did them on a 40 count, you wouldn't really even get to hardly see them. I like something that's going to stand out. Let's see. What else do I have in this bag here? Oh, yeah. This is another one I need to finish, too. It's like, I don't know. Do I have a fear of finishing? Sometimes I think I do. Oh, I don't have the pattern covered. There's another needle in here. Hmm. No wonder I don't have any needles. Have my needles. This is Books of the Bible by My Big Toe. And this is Hand-Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie Forrest. Something. Oh, Forrest Bloom. Absolutely love it. I love her fabrics, but... I know, I, I guess it's that way with everybody, but I had ordered um, a piece of fabric, and what did it take? Nine weeks? When I want to start a project, I mean, I have, have uh, fabric, but, you know, it's never the colors that you want. Ever. <laughs> okay, what's we got here? Oh, yes. So, I don't know where that went. But, I wanted to stitch Nantucket. And I started out on 16 count. And I, I just felt my stitches weren't, oh, good gracious, weren't perfect enough. Yes, I suffer from OCD on certain things. I really wanted a Lugana, and no, I'm not dying my fabric because I tried it once and it was such a disaster. And I thought, I'm not going to waste money on fabric and die, only to tur have it turn out bad. I mean, God bless the ones that can do it. I wish I could, but no. So then I started it on 14 count, which I really like, but I just haven't found the perfect Lugana for this for like a medium gray. So I don't know if I'm going to do it on that or not. <sighs> decisions, decisions. This isn't even half of the bags I have. What is it going on? Three years I've gotten Garon. Uh, bags. I have three years worth of bags. 
Okay. So then I thought about doing this for an anniversary. This is the Betatudes. My big toe. I really love it. Then I thought, oh, I like this so much. Maybe I want to keep it. I know it's hard to tell with this because this is all I have done, but the colors are just beautiful. And that's a navy blue. Let's see. That's NPI. So we'll see. I've got to get it done by next year, so I better think of something. Like I said before, if you guys know of any projects, we're on 50. This is a sampler. Um, this is the third time I've started it. It was a gift. And then... I didn't like the first one. I didn't like the color. It was Gloriana Silk. Then the second time I did it, well, I liked it and everything. They remodeled their house and it wouldn't go with it. So hopefully by the time I get this done, they won't have remodeled again. And this is done with DMC 3750. A lot cheaper um, thread. But it's just as pretty. So, um, I do post to Instagram once in a while. So you could always go there and check. Uh, see progress. Let's see. I try to pick bags that are similar to the project. Oh, yes, this one. It's been sitting here a year. Um, dreaming of sunflowers. I saw it stitched on this. Lazy Daisy by Stephanie. It was just beautiful. But then I thought, and I also saw it stitched on white. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that. I think last time I did a whip braid, I haven't done any more since. It's, see these eight stitches here? That's all I've completed. And then... I have this, the thread, the fabric, but I don't even want to touch that until I get this done. And I'm not even counting that as a whip. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh, yes, another one that I've been wanting to work on, too. I don't know how many times I have frogged on this piece. This is uh, Earthen by Picture This Plus. I think it's 28 count. And that's as far as I've gotten. I didn't even finish the G. I hop around a lot because I get bored. <laughs> I believe that Stitcher's ADHD is a real thing. If you hear that noise, bears dream. Okay. The 
this isn't even all the bags. This one is Long Dog Do Different. And I really love this one too. I need to pandemic do different. When do I think I'm gonna have time to get all these done? I'm not even retired. Just plain tired. Okay, so this is as far as I've gotten. This is on is it twenty-eight count ivory? Maybe. Twenty-eight count yeah, I think it's ivory. But um and I I try to use anchor, but to be honest, I can't really tell a difference when I stitch. I know some people say this is done with DMC. Um some people say they can't. I've started buying anchor, but honestly, I can't tell the difference. Oh, oops, taking that out of the bag already. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yes. So I wanted to stitch, a, it's a marshmallow world, and this is 16 count in, is it milk chocolate? I think so. Sorry, allergy season. And to me, it's too orangey. And... So I was looking around my fabrics for maybe something opal essence. I found this. This is Under the Sea um, Christmas in Williamsburg. But this is orangey too. Sort of a... Uh, it's darker than what it's showing. So if you guys know some fabric that I can use for that, that's brown opal essence. Oh, my nose just itches. Then, I don't even have the pattern in here either. Oh, yeah, here's it. Um, from Modern Folk and Brave, the Zimmerman coverlet. I just think that's so beautiful. And I thought about doing this for an anniversary. But I'm thinking there's a lot more stitching to this than what it looks like. Because even like those little house when you think, oh, I'll just whip through this in no time. No. Doesn't happen. Oh. Here I have some white opal lesson. Hmm. But this is as far as I got. And I think I'm using DMC on this. Let's see. Yep, three seven five zero. My favorite color. Sometimes my hands just cramp up. Arthritis. Oh. Hey, we might get this under an hour yet. This is one I have. It's the Prim Stitcher thing. That I haven't done anything with. Here's like one of them. I thought about maybe doing some individually, but I kind of like the one piece. 
I also bought the flea market basket. I haven't even finished with the flea market basket. What is it called? The new one. Then I started ink circles, um, the heart one. Okay. So this has plum and teal and maybe a little bit of navy. And I put it on gray and I'm just not loving it. I don't know. What do y'all think? This, I can't remember what fabric I use. To me, it doesn't make the colors pop in it. I don't know. And this is silks for you. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. You know, sometimes when you stitch things, you just don't trust your own judgment. It may be okay. It may be perfectly fine. Excuse me. Yeah, drink of water here. This one. <coughs> excuse me. Has been sitting around for a while. This is farmhouse Christmas and um, I started it on opalescent but opalescent isn't always fun to stitch on <laughs> and I think that I've been avoiding it sorry my hand is cramping up Oh, um, my friend of 40 years that passed away, um, 40 plus years, um, her son, I potty trained, no, her daughter, and she's what now, 42, 44? But anyway, I was making this for my friend. Um, it's a sampler. Of course, I was taking my sweet time. I wish you could have seen it. <laughs> but she has a married daughter and two married sons. And I really didn't know what to do with it because it has, I'm going to put the kids' names in it, her name, her husband's name, and the kids' name. So I thought I'd give it to her daughter. That's done with, that's 36 count doubloon. And Gloriana Grant. Okay. Get the Bengay out. Oh, good gracious. Um, this one I haven't worked on either for quite a while. This one is the Stony Creek uh, Christmas Village Afghan. I have the Halloween one, too, that I haven't even taken that one out. That's been in storage. 
but um, I had this surge, so I don't really even know what I'm going to do with it once I have it stitched. But this is, uh, is it 18 count over 2? Um, twenty count over two with four threads, and four threads isn't too bad because you can do a loop start. But this is as far as I've gotten. You know, and. To stitch in the break room at work and stuff too. Um, break room, I mean, I'm pretty careful about my white fabrics and stuff, but I'm scared to take white material there because I'm scared it's going to get dirty. So I'm always constantly washing my hands and doing all kinds of stuff. What happened? I have such a mess here, good gracious. What happened to the patterns I had? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So, I bought a Molly Ollie, and then I bought uh, this one and this I keep my crocheting in. Um, yeah they're nice but they're spot clean so you can't really wash them you got to keep them from getting dirty or you know even just setting things down somewhere you know uh, like at work and stuff too, but I started this afghan and I've made it before um, If some of you remember the afghan stitch or what they now called Tunisian But I made this afghan in these country colors with the burgundy and the pink and the country blue and light blue I'd like to use something else for colors, but I don't know what. So when I go to work, I've just brought this. There's that light again. And then um, this is like 25 rows, and I need over 300 for one panel. And there's four panels. But I take that to work because I can just drag it out real quick. I don't have to think. I don't have to look back and forth to a pattern. So hence, my stitching doesn't get much. And when you work overnights, you're tired in the morning from working. And then you get up, have a little supper, shower, and get ready for work again. So that doesn't leave much time. Okay. Continuing on. There's not much left. I bought... Um, I put a couple stitches in this last night. Stony Creek Spring in the Village. And it gives you, um, I don't know what color is this? It looks good. It's ivory, but it looks like it's got an orange tint to it. What's up with that? Um, but it originally calls for anchor. So I bought all of the anchor. Here we go. This is my huge start. 
And it's right in the crease, too. Sorry. Oh, that probably is it. So, like, right there. After I saw, um, if you don't watch, um, Once Upon a Stitch with Lori, you must watch her. I just love her. Um, she did the autumn in the village. Beautiful. But, you know, Stony Creek is known for its back stitching. And I don't know. I'd rather do French knots than backstitch. This, I got the pattern somewhere, good gracious. But this is Jan Houtman. Oh, sorry. Um, ABC Alphabet. This is done in green. Just love that. Well, as you can see, it looks like a yard of fabric. Let's see what we have here. That's just, um, I have everything kitted up for this Mirabilia. It's all in here. And I haven't, I haven't even looked at it, but I love the colors in that. Oh, this is Jane Reese sampler. I don't think I put the pattern in here either. I mean, I have the copied pattern, but I don't have. But this is what I've done so far. And that's stitched on 36, 36 count platinum with Saudi Alger um, 2926. But it almost has kind of a red rust to a beautiful color though. I have so many hands across the sea patterns. I've got, I haven't even started any of them or what. And then of course, Nicola comes out with one, what, once a week? Yeah. Okay, so I just have started this. I have the one that goes with it. And this is done on 25 cent bottles of garlic. I love working on 25 count. And that's what I've gotten done so far. Is it that way? I think so. And then I have my One Nation. And this is done on Ale. 
maybe, or the bone. Still working on these. These little white flower things take forever. This is not a fast stitch either. Um, Lo no, what is Vicky from the Virginia Stitcher? She's doing, what is it, one star and one state a week? And I thought, well, with 4th of July coming up, that's probably what I should do too. But where does one begin? And this one I want to finish by fall. Another ink circles. The Rosetta. And I've started this three times. And this is done with Dinky Dyes Midnight. It drives me nuts. I can only work on it so long, and I've got to work on something else. I don't know how many times I've had to frog in this, too. Let's see. What is there, nine or twelve little circles? I know ink circles takes patience, but... Maybe it goes this way. This, you cannot stitch fast even if it's one color. The results is beautiful, but dang, there's a lot of stitches in there. You know, and trying to stitch without having to carry your thread too. I try to have my back as neat as my front. I don't go way across or anything like that. And I don't care for pin stitches either. To me, they don't feel secure enough. I know people say they are, but I don't think so. Okay, just to show you a little bit of haul, not everything, because in the last six, seven months, I have bought a lot. Oh, before I do that, um, I wanted to mention, I did mention a couple, uh, Once Upon a Stitch. Um, Lori, if you don't watch her, you'll have to tune in to her. Uh, Vicki from the Virginia Stitcher, love her as well. Um, and then I've been watching Tiger Lily Designs. Um, she's got a lot of cute things. And then Sweetwater Stitcher, like her too. And then there's one, um, and I don't know if you guys have seen her. She's called the Sharky Stitcher. And she does a lot of um, Mirabilia Mermaids and Chatelaines. Beautiful work. So um, if you get a chance, watch some of her videos. Okay, so let's get busy with this haul here. I did, um, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, purchase this one. And I hear it's intense. That's all I'm going to say about that. And right now I don't need intense. I just need something easy. Or no thought, or whatever. Okay, I got all kinds of stuff. I'm just grabbing stuff out of here because I threw stuff in. Um, I've been looking for this pattern and found it. But it almost looks like it's full coverage. I've seen conversions of it too. 
Um, and then I bought one of these books. Um, you can buy them on Amazon. It's called Sampler Stitching. And I think there's about 50 pages in it. But it's just the title and the designer of your piece, um, where they're stored. How much of a joy was it to stitch? One to five hearts. Um, and then you've got type of sampler, reproduction, adaptation, or original sampler, um, dimensions, start and finish date, specialty stitches, fabric and fiber information, um, details about the sampler, and then you can put a picture in there. So I think they're like 10 bucks, but um, yeah, like it. Okay. Let's see here. What do I have here? Oh, I was looking for this. Um, I bought Joan Elliott's Year of Silhouettes, and it calls for pole stitches, Tudor Rose, or English Tudor, something to that effect. But after, let's see, Lori was starting... A new long dog. I can't think of one. What it's called. It looks like chess pieces. And she did it on white with black. And I thought maybe this would look nice with white and black. Because then you could really see the definition in it. I'm not sure I would care for the pink and green. On the corded fabric. Let's see, what else did I buy? I have Hive Rules. I love everything by Primrose Cottage. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I had to then I had to look to make sure I wasn't ordering the same thing, because this ABC goes sideways, the other one goes up and down. But I love the B theme. And then I bought this from Etsy. I didn't even take it out of the package yet. And it's from Fireweed Lane. But it's just a little, I think you can fold it over too. It's got cupcakes on it. But you just stick your bobbinated floss in here. I'm not sure how many it holds. I haven't tried it out yet. Because for some of our projects, we need, we need a lot of these. What's this? Oh, I just ordered this, uh, Sea to Shining Sea by Pickle Barrel. Let's see, what's this fabric? Uh. is this grasshopper oh. oh this was the fabric by Stephanie I thought about using on um, Nantucket but it's got some grays some blues and a little bit of brown but to me, that would look like a sky. I don't know. To be determined. 
And then I ordered this one to go with my One Nation Freedom by Rosewood Manor. I think this was at Nashville. And then they've got some smaller charts here, too, that come with it. But I like this one. Yeah, let's see. It's been a while since I've looked in here, so I really don't even know what I have. Let's see. No, that goes um, I order all forest embroidery, the cardinal, what's it called? Red cardinals. And I just had the thread. Then I ordered Anne Womack from Shakespeare's Peddler. And it's got special specialty stitches. I don't really like specialty stitches, so that may be a giveaway at a later date. Um I've got the be happy, be kind, or be happy, be humble, kind, huh? It should be be happy, be humble, be kind, but then um, I had this a long time ago, but by Cooler Designs, I ordered this. I bet that would be beautiful. But that looks like it has a lot of back stitching too. Am I complaining a lot tonight? <laughs> Must be getting tired. And then I ordered this from Garon Stitches, the GH1827 sampler, and it's, I mean, the pictures are big, the pattern's big, I mean, you get a good glimpse. Let's see, you can see how big that is. And then it's got little things, too, you can stitch with. I did order, too, a tisket a tasket. Just because I think it's so pretty. Um, Let Love Rain. I think did I order... That's got, like, super big... Um, pattern like for my old eyes. Let's see. Oh, stitched on. No, that isn't it. Let me. Oh, stitched on. Grab a slip. I really like that. It's so pretty. Yeah, a couple other things in here. And we're just about done. I ordered this one. Mm hmm. It'll be a while. And. Mind you now, this is over six and seven months worth of stuff. 
Oh yes, here's the thread for the cardinal, red cardinal. And when I was frogging with black thread, I bought one of these. And it's a seam ripper. And then you use this. Oh, let's see if I can get it out here. You use this. I think you can put it on the seam ripper. The sticky little wand thing to rub over it. But it didn't work magic with black claws. Maybe it's better with a lighter one. I don't know, but I can't remember which floss tube I was watching that recommended it. And, oh, yes. Last but not least, I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then it's just like a box, and you open it up. What do I have in here? I have a journal, some stickers, some recipe cards, <laughs> but yeah, I just, they got a lot of bee stuff too, I thought that was so cute. Okay, um, now for a giveaway. And then we're done. I am giving away Nora Corbett Crystal Trellis. And this design uses DMC and Karen. Um, let's see. Karen Water Lilies. It's got five different beads and five DMC and four water lilies. Does it give dimensions? It can't be that big. Oh, 90 by 110 on 32 count. And it was stitched on gray. So, if you would like a chance to win this chart, use the word hmm, trellis. We'll leave it at trellis. But sometimes when I do giveaways in, you know, if they don't say that they want it or whatever, sometimes I have a hard distinction of figuring out who wants it and who doesn't. So, um, and remember not to use the keywords, win, giveaway, free, you know, all that stuff. Because we want to keep this just for stitchers. So, with that being said, one hour and eight minutes, soon to be nine here, um, we're not doing too bad. So, I'm going to try to come back in two weeks and try to get myself into a habit. And we'll see what I get stitched. And please be safe out there. Take care. And God bless.